Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to show you how to restore a really old bevel gauge. So let's get into the project. I'm using the same scraping method as I used restoring this chisel. So I'm just using this paint scraper. I'm be basically restoring the plate, the metal here, and then I'm going to probably be actually putting a piece of wood here in here to and then sand it down and make it look really nice so it's at the end it's going to look really nice i'm going to hang it on my tool with my other tricycle okay so now i've restored um the plate here now we're just going to restore um, now we're just going to restore the handle. So I want to put a little p a piece of wood in here and here, but I don't know the exact size. So a cool trick is you just get a piece of paper and then you just get your scissors and then you just cut, just cut out in here and then across here. So now you've got this piece here and now you want to try and make it fit in here so the cool way of doing that is you get you wrap it around like this so now you've got this and now you just get your pencil and run it across the corner Okay, so now you've got this. Now you just need to cut it out. Okay, so now I've cut it out. Now we're just going to attach it onto here. I'm just using a glue stick. Just put some on the paper. Okay, so now it's time to cut it out. I'm just going to be using my coping saw. So now I've cut it out. Now let's see if it fits. Well, it doesn't fit perfectly, but it's close enough. So now I'm just going to get it on here, line it up against the flat side, and then just draw a line. No, it's actually not too close. Anyway, um, just draw a line across here. Now we've got this line. I'm probably just going to file and rasp it away to the exact line. So now um, on here there it's actually it actually goes in here and here. So after I've cut after I've filed this to size I'll have to try and cut around. So okay let's do some rasping. Okay, so I've rasped it to size. Now we just need to um, figure out how to get indents on here to fit here. And then I'll have to do another piece of this over on the other side. So let's, so this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to get uh, just a piece of paper. And then I'm going to push it in on the sides. Okay, now you've got this little piece which is up. Now you just need to shape that in. That is where you've got to cut. So let's cut this out. Okay, 
go. So now we've got this little piece here. Now we just need to glue it onto glue it onto here. Just glue it onto one corner. Okay, so now we just need to cut out that. So now I've um, cut this here. Now let's see if it fits. Okay, so it fits in here nicely. It's quite thick, so I'm just going to get a Nico pen and run it around the outside of this. Okay. So now we've got a line around here in here, so now we just need to cut in the on this side like just now we just need to cut it in half. So let's do that. So I've cut them, so now it's time to glue them onto here. I'm going to be using um, Gorilla Glue, but use caution when you um, put it on because you don't want to get any stuff on your fingers because you may never get it back up again. So I'm just putting my gloves, my gloves on. So let's glue it together. Now I just need to let this dry for a bit. Okay, so now I've now it's glued on. So I recommend you don't put too much of glue glue on because it expands like three or four times the actual size. So it can look a bit like this, and you just don't want to put too much on. I probably put a bit too much on, but anyway. So now we're just going to round over the edges here, and um put this in the vise and remove the rust here with a file in here and just remove the rust on here and then we're going to try and take out this screw here and restore it because we it's a bit hard to take it out I actually don't know if we will be able to take it out so let's do some filing I've been doing a bit of filing so it's starting to look really nice so now let's try and take out this screw on here so it wasn't really tight before but it must but it seems to come out really quite easily now so that's good okay so now we've got this now I'm just going to remove the rust off here by just getting this and just rubbing it up <coughs> okay so I finished um, doing a bit of sanding on the screw now let's put it back in Okay, 
so now it's time for the finishing process. I'm just using olive oil. I'm just using the olive oil trick. If you haven't already checked out that video, make sure you check that out. Okay, so after it's dry, these are a few shots of what it looks like on my tool wall. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.